Hello YouTubers. Uh, today's project, I've been working on some other projects and got those finished, so now I did the drawings for this project. I don't know if you can read it or not, but it says a a 300 AAC blackout brass trimming block. Um, let's see, it was less, AZ Papa less, SoCal Preppers, uh, just me, Rusty. We were the ones on uh, Skype last night talking about trimming this brass. And uh, what we're wanting to do is make 300 AAC blackout brass out of 223 or 5.56 brass. And Rusty has one of these things. Let me get a pencil. And uh, he showed it to us on Skype, and Les had a video, a link to a video. And so I tried to re reverse engineer this thing without actually ever having one in my hands. But I did it by just what I saw. And what I've got here is there a square block of aluminum that is two and a half inches long, an inch and three quarter wide. It's one inch thick. And these are cutouts right here so that I can bolt it down to my little Harbor Freight chop saw. And those slots are adjust so it's adjustable to get the cut the right length. Your brass would go right in here and there's a 3 8 inch diameter hole through there which is the size of the brass. There's, it's drilled and tapped for a set screw. This is the set screw I'm using. Um, SSB 56N ball plunger. It's a 5 16 by 18 tap or thread. Little set screw Allen head on the other end. But if you see that little ball right there, that's a spring loaded ball. And what that's going to do is fit right into the groove there on the brass and it's spring loaded so it's going to kind of lock that brass into place in the little chamber here that I'm going to drill and it'll stick out that in and then my little chop saw will come down and chop it off so what we've got here are a bunch of different drawings this little circle here is going to be cut out down to where it's only a quarter inch thick on the bottom and that's where the brass will you'll lay the brass in there and shove it through this hole and chop it off. That little hole there is the set screw coming through here. And this hole here is the 3 8 hole for the brass to go through. So I've got three drawings here from three different angles. Hopefully I can get this right. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but my uh, chop saw is running over there cutting making the last cut on a block of aluminum and right here is a piece of 300 AAC blackout brass and there's the uh, dented up piece of 556 so what you do is you cut it off right here at the, sh the edge of that shoulder and then you have to clean the uh, burrs off of course and then you run it through a sizing die and it will change it to this shape and then you have to trim it back to the right length. But uh, the actual cutting off of the brass, it, it all takes a while to do but it, it just seems like it's torture cutting this stuff. So hopefully we can get this rigged up and maybe send it around to uh, the guys that need it and take turns and, and chop off some brass.
let's get busy. Right here is my little piece of aluminum block. Of course, this side and this side are the factory edges, and this side here was a factory edge. So I'm going to mount it in my vise like this, with this setting on my parallels. Clamp it in the vise. Got a little fly cutter setting in my uh, R8 spindle. with aluminum. I know it's a lot easier than steel if I want to get a nice finish on this. Center it up a little bit just by eye. And go down until I touch. Just barely want to skim it off just to straighten it up and clean it up. Okay, I finished truing up both the, the back side and the other side. So they're all squared up and straight. But since neither end is true, I put my parallels in there, set this on them, clamped it in the vise, and then used my dead blow hammer here and tapped it into submission. So now if you see that's on zero, and if I come clear to the top, it's registering all those just little tiny bumps from when I cleared it off, but it's, it's within about three quarters of a thousandth in that distance, which is going to be plenty good for me. Now I'm going to use my uh, fly cutter and cut the top off and then that will then be square with the sides and I can just use the parallels and won't have to use my Noga indicator. So I'm going to do the same thing to what is now on top and what is on the bottom. Well I got it all squared up, trued up, and deburred. I uh, used a fly cutter on all four of those sides. 
There's the original front and back, or whatever you want to call them. Next couple days, I hope to get started on cutting out the actual uh, material, cutting the material off to make it what I want it. So we'll see. I'll get this video posted, and if you want to see how the rest of it goes, it'll be in a couple days or so, I guess. Thanks for watching this part.